for over 1,000 years. 365,000 days, 525,600,000 minutes this building's been here and we've worshipped within it. Imagine what these walls have seen and these bricks have heard. Every song, every prayer, cry and yearn, generation after generation of brothers and sisters who have gone before us. A multitude of broken worshippers and beloved sinners dedicating themselves to the King Jesus. 1,000 years of endless pursuit. 1,000 years on and still the world cannot refute the good news of our Saviour. No matter how hard they try, it's a truth that will never waver because He is greater than we could ever conceive. Our ancestors believed and believed and believed that He truly is worthy of it all. So they gave their all, week in and week out, making sure their fire never burnt out, and so here we are now. The next age of prodigal sons, attempting to live a life sold out for the one, but in a time of global pandemic and extreme hardship, it's easy to forget who it is we're living for. To lose sight of the almighty creator we are singing to and turn up simply so we can just feel something good. But what if we stop for a second and realize what it is we're actually singing? then we'd never be able to leave unchanged, never forgetting to give glory to his name. Do you know who it is you're worshipping? The heavenly ruler who came down to our mess and sacrificed everything. The one who thought of you before time began. The one who for eternity will have scars on his hands because he looked at you and said, you are worth dying for. Your redeemer, your healer, your protector, your father, your brother, your best friend. The one who will fight for you until the very end. The king of all kings whom nobody comes above. The one who even when you knowingly act against him will still embrace you and say, you are loved. That is the God we are worshipping. The one we sing to, bow down to and lift our hands high for. So the time has come for us to not hold back anymore. We need to make an almighty sound. To be undignified, surrendered and send trembles through the ground as we praise Jesus with an unrelenting passion and an unforgiving volume. As we hand ourselves over in praise, getting lost in awe and wonder and no longer caring how wild our worship seems. Is this place just going to become another spire in the city of dreamers? Or is it going to be the holy ground that's thick with the presence of God and packed out with believers? It's not that we have to, it's that we get to. We get to wake up every morning and say, Jesus, this is why I love you. So don't give him your empty words. Don't give him your quiet mumbles. Let's be a people with nothing holding us back, glorifying him for who he is and be humbled, brought to our knees and drenched in tears because the King of Kings, the Lord Almighty is here.